Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And I think we all know that the tool truck experience varies widely depending on where you are and who your, who your dealers are and even what brands um, of tools they carry. Uh, but uh, I had a commenter post something um, on my um, screwdriver, you know, kind of unboxing for this Vera um, 932A, which is their, their impact kind of chisel screwdriver. Um, saying that Snap-on only warranties the shafts, you know, or the tips. They don't warranty the handles. Um, and that, you know, once the handle wears out or something, you have to get a new screwdriver. But otherwise, they'll replace the shanks all day long. Um, and I have not had that experience. I have only had good experience where, boy, if, if like this screwdriver, find a compatible one here, um, if this particular screwdriver handle cracked or something was wrong with it, or the, you know, after a few bit replacements, it's not in there solid, they would just give me a brand new one. No problem. In fact, that's where all of these came from. I have tons of snap-on screwdrivers. You know, I just walked around the homestead and started picking them up in various places, but they all seem to, or many of them, seem to eventually turn into these the instinct handles generally my color choice is red um, but uh, i have had no pushback no resistance sometimes i'd walk in and i'd you know show an old screwdriver or like even this guy look at that handle i mean that's that's on its way out and guess what i walk out with a brand new shaft on it um, I have done that a lot. I mean, you can see these old handles with these brand new bead blasted, you know, state of the art snap on um, handles. I've had some break and then they immediately give me a brand new one. You know, that's probably where this one came from is I had some little one like this and it snapped, you know, where they, they were trying to put a, uh, a new handle in or a new uh, shaft in and it cracked because these old handles do that and then instantly that's what's sitting in my hand, you know, because they're the same shaft. Um, or come close enough. You know, sometimes I've upgraded to, you know, a, a bigger screwdriver. You know, here's an old, look at that brand new, super shiny, because it's been replaced on an old beat up handle. You know, this was messed up. No questions asked. And if this breaks, all of a sudden I'm looking at a brand new instinct handle. Look at that one. Look at this handle. I mean, it is... It is so messed up, brand new shaft. I've had no questions. And if this thing, or even it's, it's kind of got a weird texture on it, if it starts getting gross, um, I'll just get a new screwdriver. That's what they do. Um, wow, it's got a smell to it. Um, but anyway, this is the one that I, I don't want to have replaced. This is one of those early triangular snap-on handles. Um, and I, I actually had a new shaft put on it. You know, I still want to be able to use it as a snap-on handle. And so he was very careful because I was hoping to preserve this thing. Others, I don't, I don't really care. I've had um, these electronics. This was a replacement. I had another one. Um, let's see if I can visit in this pile. Um, yeah, here. You can see this. This is an old snap-on handle um, with a brand new tip in it, brand new shaft. Um, I had another one and it cracked when they were trying to, uh, when my dealer was trying to replace it. And so, ta-da, brand new one. So it was a, a switch straight out. Um, so no questions asked, they're just gonna keep me in screwdrivers. Same with their little micro ones. I had one of these with a, you know, a Phillips or maybe it was a Torx and actually, you know, stripped a little or bent a little and guess what? Brand new one, no questions asked. Small ones, I've updated some of these, you know, like these. You know, finally these give up the ghost. That's what's sitting in my hand when I walk off the truck. Um, here's an example. I've got this, this old school cabinet screwdriver. It's like 20 inches long. Um, this is still perfectly fine, but I've also had others that weren't and they swapped them out. Look at that handle. I mean, this was almost a, just to see if we could do it. Look at this thing. And he was able to get the, uh, get the shaft in there See if we can get a clear shot of that guy. Um, it's on its way, but you know, the moment this one goes down, I'll be looking at a brand new one probably, if my dealer's still there. I mean, he's getting old. 
But uh, he's just a great guy, and I've asked him about it. And he said, you know, that he's been around so long with Snap-on that he just tells him, this is what I'm doing, you know, and you guys need to cover it. Gets kind of cranky, he said, with Snap-on when they're trying to, you know, double-check everything. And, you know, they have to cut all this stuff up and mail it in and kind of a hassle. But um, he does it. And I've seen his boxes of materials when he sends stuff back. So here's my old beat-up handle, trash tip, brand new. No questions asked. And then um, the moment they go down, it all turns into brand new handles. That's my experience, you know. So it might be something that, um, you know, kind of shades your your interpretation of Snap-on and their warranty, et cetera. Um, but I, I've had good luck I mean, no questions asked. Just I walk on, you know, with a broken one, walk off with a brand new one. Handles, um, bits, shanks bent, whatever it is. Oh, speaking of bending shanks, somebody was surprised when I did the unboxing of this or the opening and I was bending it. And I said I, I felt a little flex and I was thinking they were su surprised at that. So I was like to myself, did I really feel flex? Was that what was going on? So I thought I'd try to show how, show the little bit of flex, but there is some. So I've got a little bit of a deflection mechanism here, basically just a bolt magnetized or with a magnet onto the screwdriver. So as I bend this, let me line it up here just hopefully so you can see it. Um, if you look right down here, you can see that was the deflection that I was feeling. You feel that? There is a little bit there. Um, haven't tried it on many other screwdrivers just to see, but I could feel, you know, just a slight deflection. And I'm not sure if it's right in here um, or in the handle. I could try moving that down onto the, onto that part, but now it's going off script here. So now I've got to check and see. I'm exploring, I haven't tried this. Yeah, see that's not moving there. Um, so it must be obviously in the shank and you can see it's got clearance there. Line it all up. Maybe I'll line it right up to the top of that yellow ball there as best I can. So you can see, and then applying force and I'm not touching the bolt. Um, just a little bit of force here. Let me line it up right there. That's the flex I was talking about. Anyway, in case you're interested, um, I've had tons of good luck across the board with the Snap-on. I wanna hear your experiences though in the comments. What's going on on your side? What does your uh, dealer do with, with screwdriver handles? Or, you know, I, we can talk about other tools later, but I'm curious just because of that one question. I've had nothing but good luck. I didn't know that that wasn't part of the Snap-on experience. So, you know, enlighten me. And with that, Doc out.